Hi friends, so today we will be discussing the anatomy of the paravesical space. As we are all aware in the female pelvis, this is the view which we get, right? When we are staring from the abdomen in the pelvis from here, this is the view which we get. So the region close to this region is the region which forms the paravesical space. In order to understand the paravesical space slightly better, let us just cut the abdomen in this plane. So we are going to get the entire anatomy which is something like this. I will draw the bladder and cervix little more prominent because I want to explain the paravesical. Alright, the vesicle is the space which is close to the bladder. As you know, this is the cervix and here you have the rectum which is behind. Now, temporarily as a student, you should also understand that in front you have the pubic symphysis. The pubic symphysis then continues inside the pelvis as a bony prominence, okay? And this bony prominence is a very important part of the paravesical space. Simultaneously, slightly above this entire look of anatomy, you are going to have the external iliac vessel and the internal iliac vessel. Obviously, we all know this, we have studied this. Internal iliac vessel obviously continues to go up as we know as an obliterated umbilical. But it also gives a branch which is called as a vesicle branch which is a little thin branch and then it gives a beautiful branch which is the uterine branch. Correct? So we know all these things. Now, you must understand that when we talk of the paravesical space, it is this space that we are worried about. Paravesical. The region which is close to the bladder. Okay? But no anatomy is going to complete till I mark and till I draw this entire thing and it is never going to finish till the ureter which goes under the uterine artery and then enters the bladder. What are under the bridge? We all know this so I am drawing it in dotted line and the ureter goes there. So basically when we try to understand the paravesical space now it is very very simple. One of the borders is going to be formed by the bladder. One of the borders is going to be formed by the cervix. One of the borders is going to be formed by the ureter. Okay. On one side you have the bone. Now besides the bone obviously God has gifted muscles. So the muscle which is present here we all know this muscle and we call it as the obturator internus muscle. Simultaneously it is important to understand that it is this uterine region. This region. See, when I draw this region, I am drawing it close to the cervix. So, this paracervical region is also labeled as parametrium. Okay, so the parametrium is going to divide this entire anatomy into a paravesical space and the space behind which is called as the pararectal space. Understanding? Obviously, along with this, inside this entire space, what is important to remember is that God has gifted fat so you will have fat. In fact, you are going to see this as a fat covered region. Okay, this is this is something which we label as a potential space. What do you mean by a potential space? Potential space is a space which can be opened up, but which is naturally not open. Alright, this entire yellow colored thing which I have drawn is nothing else but endopelvic fascia. Okay, now let's come to the clinical importance of understanding. Why on earth should I study the paravesical space? Paravesical space is going to form an important landmark when I am studying cancer cervix because I need to ensure that this space is a free space. Only if it is a free space in cancer cervix can I achieve an R0 resection. That means I can have good disease clearance. Very important to understand this space in cases of endometriosis. Very important to understand this in cases of previous caesarean sections. Now as students, this is something which is very common. So if you open the paravesical space, obviously you have pushed the bladder medially. So you have protected the bladder. So it is basically going to protect the bladder. Understanding? As a result of this understanding of paravesical space in a clinical situation is a very, very important thing. I hope this video helps you in understanding the paravesical space. Further questions, obviously on WhatsApp. Thank you so much.